What is going on fellow developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be creating a Laravel API. Now you're going to need some prerequisites for this before getting started and the prerequisites you need is MySQL and Postman. Now as you can see here this is Postman. It allows you to make API requests or RESTful, a RESTful uh, requests to an API like this as you can see here we could do a get anime one do and as you can see there we get the id the title and if it's been watched or not um, again you can create a new anime we can put one up and we can delete one from this api so this is what postman could do but you're also going to need some sort of uh, mysql database um, you can connect to I'm actually cheating the system and using MAMP. So MAMP allows you to run PHP applications using Apache. It also installs MySQL. And when you start, it will start a MySQL server where you can access at local host. Um, if you go into your settings here and you go ports, you can see your MySQL port here. You can change it or set to whatever you think you need. But as you can see, that's how you um, can set up using MAMP. Um, I'm not going to show you how to download them. Simply just Google them and find it there or check out one of my other videos either getting started with Laravel or in my learn how to use PHP. So without further ado let's get on with the video. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for your PHP based applications. Cloudways offers peace of mind and flexibility to let you focus on growing your business and reach new milestones. Now with Cloudways, you get an optimized stack, managed server and application backups, staging websites, integrated Git and Composer, and the choice of five cloud providers like AWS, DigitalOcean, Linode, and more. So if you're an agency or an e-commerce business and looking for a managed solution, then go for Cloudways without wasting a moment. You can use the promo code TylerP when signing up via the link in the description to get $15 free hosting credit. And by the way, I really like their slogan, moving dreams forward. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create a new Laravel project. Um, so to do that, we're going to use Composer. We're going to create a project, and we're going to call it. Well, we're going to. We need to use Laravel, um, and then we need to give it a name. So this one is going to be Laravel hyphen API hyphen YouTube. I'm going to hit Enter, and that's going to create our project. So our project's now completed or ready. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to run PHP Artisan make model and then we're going to give the model a name now we're going to be creating an anime uh a list like what my anime list what i want to watch sort of thing api so we're going to call this make model anime um and then we're going to also do a hyphen and i'm going to say uh we're going to make a migrations and we're going to make the well it's just a migration so what we're going to do is php artisan make model anime and the migrations which go with this uh, we could actually do migrations i believe um, so let's hit enter, could not find file, oh sorry, we need to actually cd into the directory, so let's cd into the Laravel API YouTube, and then let's run that command again, uh, just to let you know, I made a mistake, it wasn't migrations, it's migration, um, and now that has done, it's also created our migration table there, so let's open this up with VS Code, or whichever text editor you prefer to use, so I'm going to open this up, and let's close that, uh, let's zoom out one just for now. Um, we'll zoom back in when we're editing. And the first thing we want to do is go into .env and we need to update our database. So we actually need to go and create a database. So what we need to do is open up our browser. If I can open it, there we go. Um, and then we want to go to localhost forward slash php my admin. And that's if you're using MAMP. If you're using something else, obviously go to wherever you stored your database. We want to create a new item here and we're going to call this Laravel underscore API underscore YouTube hit create and it will create us a new database. So now we need to take this name, go back into our .env file and go Laravel underscore API underscore YouTube and also the password is root for MAMP um, and it's root root for MAMP um, but also use whatever database password and username your uh, MySQL setup uses. 
So let's close the .env file and actually head into the app and models. Now, actually, if we open this up, we have class animate extends model here. Now we're going to have to make a couple of changes to this. I'm not going to do them now because I want to show you the errors that happen if you don't make the changes here. Um, so let's actually go into our routes, uh, our API.php, and we're now going to set up our first route. So what we need to do is go route route get because we're going to be making a get request and we're going to get from forward slash anime we're then going to run a function and inside this function we're just going to return anime all and what this is going to do it's going to go to our anime model it's going to know what how to connect to it to the uh, mysql it's going to run a query to get all of our anime um, items inside of that array and it's going to return it so what we need to do is actually use um, app forward slash models backslash anime. Also, a lot of people mentioned that this is the incorrect path because it's it's a capital A, whereas in the path it's a lowercase. When you use something, you need to capitalize the first letter because if you don't, it will not find that model. So let's save that. And now if we go and run this inside of Postman, so if we bring Postman up here let's create a new collection we're going to call this anime list youtube let's create let's click in here and click add a new request we're going to call this get anime save and also let's actually close all of these there we go so let's open this one now we need to actually surf this file here so we need to press Control option t to open up our terminal and i'm going to run php artisan surf to run our um our app so let's run there you go so now we can see the link here so let's copy that go back to postman paste it in here but now every so we did forward slash anime but every single route will be prefixed with forward slash api forward slash route so we always need the API when we're using this. And now if we hit send, we can see we're getting an error. Base table or few not found. Larafel underscore API underscore YouTube dot animes. And you're thinking to yourself, but we created anime. Well, there's actually two things we need to do before this is actually going to work. So we need to go back to our app here and we need to run. Let's close this. We need to run php artisan migrate which will create our anime table so if we go to the um, database migrations and click on the anime uh, table you can see what it does it creates a new animes table so what we need to do is go in here and do table we need to create a string and in here we need to call this uh, title we then need another table which will have a boolean sorry not create a new table use table and we're going to create a new boolean called watched and hit save and now that way this is going to be our structure for our um, anime database so we actually need to um, create a so what we need to do is php artisan migrate roll back now what this will do is roll back all the changes we made and now because we've updated our um our migration we can now run php artisan migrate again and this time it's going to create our animes table but with the correct structure let's close this and let's go into our anime here and we want to create a protected sorry a protected a table and set this equal to the table name which is going to be animes let's open up our terminal again and clear that and now run um php artisan surf let that surf it let's go back to our api and or to our postman and let's send that request again and there you go we get an empty array so that's cool obviously no one's come back so we can't really tell if that's worked or not but we we aren't getting any errors so the next step is actually to create a new anime so to do that let's create a new request let's copy this link here put this in here anime 
And let's change this to a post. Now what the post request will do will allow us to actually create a new anime. So let's set up that route inside of our um, Laravel application. So what I'll do is say root post to forward slash anime. I'm then going to run the function and inside of this function, we're going to basically check the request. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, just a can we validate the request? And the items we want to validate is the title. We want to make sure we definitely have a title when we create an anime post. We're then going to return anime, create, and then we're going to pass through a title, which is going to be our request title. And then we're going to pass through watched, which will be our request. Oh, our request watched. So what this means is we're going to check if we're making a request. So when we check the request, we're going to validate it to make sure we definitely have a title. If we don't have a title, that means um, it's going to throw back an error saying, hey, you need a title. Then what we're going to do is we're going to return. We're going to create a new anime. We're going to call title, request, title, watched, request, watched. So basically, we're just getting the title from our body, our JSON, and the request from our JSON. So let's go back to Postman quickly. And let's actually try and do this. So let's go to our body. Let's click raw, and let's put in some JSON. Now, let's just pass through a title and call it uh, Tokyo Ghoul. And have we watched it? Let's say uh, no. So we're going to pass through false. So let's try and send this request. Uh, I'm going to warn you, this will throw an error. As you can see, we are getting an error. Now, it basically is not allowing us to, it's basically a security layer from um, Laravel. To fix this, we need to go into our model and now we need to create another protected variable called fillable. And we've got to set this to an array and inside this array, we need to give what we're allowed to fill, mass fill, which would be title and watched. There you go. So now if we go back to Postman and try to run this again, click send, you can see it's now created. So if we go back to our get anime request and send that request, you can see we get returned a object with our Tokyo Ghoul um, anime added. So let's now save this one and call this one create anime. Save to the list. And there you go. We've got them saved in our little list over here, which is useful. So the next request we need to make is actually update it. Let's say we've actually watched Tokyo Ghoul. So let's now go back. Let's go into our API and let's create a, no a new route. Call it a put for this route because we're going to be updating. So we're going to say anime forward slash. And now this one is going to look a bit different. We're going to use brackets and pass through the anime. And this is actually just going to be the ID. Um, but we need to give it the name of anime or whatever matches our um, model here. So in here, let's now type in function anime dollar anime. And down here, what we want to do is say return dollar anime update with the array of title. So we're going to pass back our title, which is request title and our watched, which will be request watched. So there you go. Now we actually only want to update our watched element, but we can also update our title too. But let's remove this and just update our watched element for now. So just to explain this, so what we're doing is we're making a put request to anime forward slash anime, which is actually going to be the ID. So this would be such as one, two, three. So let's just pipe in anime here. And then we're going to take this name and we're going to create a variable out of it over on the right side, which is going to be a model. So what this is actually doing to create this, Laravel is running anime or sorry, anime find by ID and it's going to take an ID and it's basically returning it that way. So what's it basically, it's just trying to find an ID 
um, find an anime with the anime model with the ID of whatever we pass through here. And it's now returned it into a actual object we can use to update. So let's now go and test this inside of Postman. So let's create a new request. Let's just copy the root here. Let's put it into a put. And now let's pass through an ID. So if we go back to get anime, you can see the ID of Tokyo Ghoul is one. So let's go in here and just paste in the one. Let's go and create a body of raw type JSON. And let's just say watched, which is going to be set to true because we've now watched it. Let's hit send. And you can see we get a one. Now one means it has worked. If we go back to get anime and we resend this request, you can see watch is now returning with one as well. So one just means true. And that's what it's saying. It's basically saying success is equal to true. And that is now the um, update anime root done. Now, if we want to, we can go back here and we can also pass through a title and we could say request title save that and go back now if we make this request again you can see we're going to get an error because title cannot be null so what we need to do is in here say title and pass through the title of the anime hit save click send and that comes back with one again so if we go to get animate refresh you can see it's just there so let's just actually make a change let's say tokyo ghoul updated or we could say re send re is one of the update or one of the anime uh, seasons and there you go tokyo ghoul re we've added it to a watch list let's save that and there you go that is now done now there's one last route we have not covered and that is deleting an anime so let's create a new one quickly let's create one let's say uh, naruto uh, watched true already so let's create that as you can see it's come through as true so if we go to our get anime and we send you can see we get two items now. We've got one, which is Tokyo Ghoul and Naruto. Um, let's say we we actually didn't want Tokyo Ghoul in there at all. Um, we can now delete it. So let's go back here. Let's go to our route. Let's create a delete. And we're going to say forward slash anime, forward slash the same route as before. So we're going to do the anime. We're going to do function. Again, anime, dollar anime. And now to delete this, we're going to return and we're going to say anime delete. And it's as simple as that to set up a, a delete request. You just get the object um, by using the ID pass through the uh, URL. And then we delete it using this function here. So save this. Let's go back. Let's create a new. Let's copy the route again. Let's do oh, not. A, let's do a delete body. We don't actually need a body for this this time, so we could actually just run this. Click send, and as you can see, it's successful. So it's come back as one. So if we save this as uh, delete anime, save. Let's go to get anime and see if Tokyo Ghoul is still there. So let's hit send, and as you can see, it's been taken away. It's been deleted. Now we just have Naruto, and that is as simple as it is to make an APA. An, a an API in Laravel. It's super basic, super simple, and it works really well. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at actually creating some sort of website or some sort of Laravel, a bigger Laravel project. Um, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, share it with all your friends, leave any comments or feedback. If you get stuck at any point or you have any questions, don't forget to just drop it in the comments below. And just as a quick shout, don't forget to check out my Twitter. It's in the description below. And same with my new Discord server where you can join us, get involved with the community. And if you need any help or anything like that, I will be there to try and help you. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.